morning, every pony peppermint here, and it's officially 6:25 a.m. Central Time. And if you're at other time zones, I don't care. Just kidding. <laughs> if you're up earlier than I am, then what is wrong with you? And other times, it's like, hey, wake up and smell the fresh uh, cup of milk. I, I don't drink coffee. There's probably a good logical reason why. I mean, the farthest I can go with coffee is coffee cake. Anything fused caramelized sugar that will that's as far as I can go. Um, I guess I can start with this new little experimental thing. I'm going to learn to wake up myself earlier and everything. So blah blah blah. I mean, I'm only doing this for one of my jobs. So yeah. Anyways, um so I guess for the morning deal I guess we'll start off with, now, obviously before, there are people who kind of talk trash about bronies and stuff, and I recently had a a counter before with um, somebody, he was a parent and everything, and it's like, um, these parents are like, oh yeah, we'll... We don't really have, we don't really let our daughter watch My Little Pony at at the house. I don't like her, you know, she always sees the trailers for it, you know, at her other friend's house and so forth. And really, I was like, okay, I mean, over ponies and stuff. And like, I kind of showed him, I had a, um, what was it? It was a little, uh, key ring and it was rarity and stuff. And... The dad's like, well, of course, because you're a woman. And I'm like, okay. Now, I wasn't at boiling point, but I'm like, there's like, okay, I could have just educated this guy. You know, like, I'm just beyond just a woman liking a show tended for little girls and all that. And to me, it, it just amazes me. I mean, this, as I said, probably from a past video, um, that it's... Basically, a stereotyping breakage show. If you want to, for love and tolerance and l- lessons that maybe you've learned as a kid or maybe you relearned as an adult, this is the show for you and everything. And I mean, I just, I think what the deal was, he said, is that all these fanboys are just overdoing it and everything and so forth. And, I mean, the other part is like, well, technically sometimes Hasbro, you know, we they kind of incorporate, you know, you know, they have all these things to buy and all that. So, there's kind of, kind of that deal. I mean, Hasbro has been getting better, especially in quality, since now we can actually literally have pony items that are actually from the show. Not just random super pink stuff. Even, like, now you can get Applejack's Barn and Sugar Cube Corner and... So forth. So, it's always something. But I, you know, I just listen to the guy. I mean, you know, it's like one of those moments to agree to disagree with someone. And, you know, if anyone asks me about bronies and stuff, and I'm like, well, this is just how I mean. I mean, you get a lot of bunch of stuff that is amazing. From art, to music, to comics, to um, plush work, and so forth. It's just the creative way for me, I guess. Um, especially in voice acting. There's been a lot of people has been doing some pretty awesome job for fan stuff and so forth. So, yeah, pretty much. Um, I think that's what I'm going to say this morning. So, if you all excuse me, I'm going to go get a big bowl of cereal. Uh, possibly some toast, maybe. But I want to try this little experiment this morning, so, um, so pretty much, uh, this is Peppermint saying, have a good day.